Okay. Okay, Apple. I think I think that's enough. I think we can stop now. I think we're good. Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Jello and welcome to did I say Jello? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all this tech news from one geek that is me to another that ah! Just really felt like yelling. Okay, news. All right, so first up, story numero uno, number one for the day. Actually, hang on. Hey there, Jern here. Just want to let you know that uh, the news for this show is kind of meh. It's kind of shitty. So this, consider this like a movie review. You know how you watch a movie review before you go watch the movie to actually figure out if you want to go watch the movie? Yeah, here's that review. This movie is fucking shitty. It's terrible. You don't have to watch it. You can just skip this episode if you want. For those of you that are still here, uh, let's keep going. All right, so for those of you who are still around, there's another, <laughs> there's another iPhone. What are we even doing? So at first, we were, <laughs> we were getting three iPhones. And then somehow we were getting four. We got to report, hey, four iPhones are coming now. And now then we got another surprise, five iPhones. One, two, three, four, five, count them, five iPhones coming in 2020. I'm pretty sure in a private chat somewhere, Brian and I were talking and he joked about like how a new news story comes out every day and it's just another iPhone. We're just adding another iPhone. So now we're up to six iPhones. And just to be clear, like this isn't a meme. This is a real report supposedly actually happening. According to a new report from analyst, oh, oh God, Jun Zhang, Jun Zhang, Mr. Zhang, he said in 2020, Apple might actually release six different iPhone 12 models. Now remember, we are like nine months away from seeing new iPhones. That is a baby amount of time. Like uh, when you, and then the baby grows inside and then it gets born, nine months. It's that much time. So things could change again. Every day there's a new report. According to him though, six new iPhones. A reminder that next year, Apple is planning on doing a dual release cycle. So in the fall and in the spring, we're gonna get different iPhones. But according to Zhang, Zahang, uh, he says that this is what we can expect. An iPhone 12 4G, 4G, with a 6.1 inch LCD display and dual, dual, why was that hard to say? Dual rear cameras. And then an iPhone 12 Pro for G with a 5.4 inch OLED screen and dual rear cameras. An iPhone 12 Pro 5G with a 5.4 inch OLED display, dual rear cameras. And then an iPhone 12 Pro Plus 4G, 4G with a 6.1 inch OLED display, triple, triple, triple cameras on the back, and a time of flight 3D sensor on the back, and a time of flight 3D sensor. And then iPhone 12 Pro Plus 5G, 6.1 inch, OLED screen, triple cameras, and a time of flight thing. And then finally, an iPhone 12 Pro Max 5G with a 6.1 inch OLED display, triple camera setup, and time of flight. Was that all? Did we get six? Okay. <laughs> so I gotta be honest, that doesn't, that is too, Apple does some wonky, stupid shit, like stuff that is, it just doesn't make sense. It's kind of confusing, like their names, for example. But this is almost too confusing for it to be believable. Now, if you remember in the last episode, I think it was the last episode, we covered a report from Ming-Chi Kuo, his prediction saying that we were gonna get five different iPhones. Four of them would have 4G capabilities, and then there would be one 4.7 inch iPhone SE 2 that would have an LCD display, singer, sing, singer, singer camera, singer camera. A single lens camera on the back and no 5G, 4G. This new report of six different iPhones doesn't match up with Ming-Chi Kuo's report and Ming-Chi Kuo is a lot more reputable. I would lean a lot more towards his report being accurate and correct. And this other, this whatever this f***er's name, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, I don't think, I don't think this is it. I, six, this seems like too much. Let's lean more towards Ming-Chi Kuo until we get more details. However, I'm not gonna say it's not gonna happen either. I mean, again, keeping in mind that we're getting two different releases. So one in the fall and one in the spring, dual release cycles. So technically they could fit six iPhones. I just don't want them to like, okay, five was fine, whatever. I guess we can adjust to that, but six? Like we didn't even give, like they didn't even give us time to get used to all these iPhones 
In 2020, we're just gonna get six of them? For real? I don't think it. All right, so next up, speaking of Apple, we gotta talk about the iOS 13 update because, oh my God, they fixed it. We have shown you footage of this happening on the show. I've been complaining about this for months, saying that there's a cropping bug in iOS 13. Like you take a screenshot, right? You go to crop it and then maybe you, maybe you write on it, draw something on it, and then you save it, you save it, and then you send it off. And it wasn't until I sent it off before I realized, oh, it didn't actually save any of that shit. It's like how when you're at McDonald's and you say, do not put ketchup on my burger and the settings don't save. The settings don't save and you get your burger and there's fucking ketchup on it even though you said not to do it. Except you didn't tell a computer that didn't save the settings. You told a person, an employee that's paid to be there and not put the ketchup on the burger when you asked for it, but they're totally fucking incompetent. But now, finally, in iOS 13.3, there's been a new update and in the little thingies, the improvement, the listing of improvements, there it is. Resolves an issue where cropping or using markup on screenshots may not save to photos. Again, people, I have been dealing with this for many months. And finally, it has been fixed. Ooh, honey, I feel vindicated. This feels so good. I've been talking about this for so long, even captured actual footage of it happening. Some people have been like, whoa, man. I've had that problem too, that's crazy. But some of you iOS fanboys have just not accepted it. But, but Dern, I, I don't have that problem. So you're, did you did you save the settings? It's cause you didn't save the picture, you idiot. I don't have that problem. iOS is perfect, I've never seen this. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that when the iOS fanboys don't see an issue, it means I don't actually have it. False alarm, everybody. Either way, it's fixed, you bunch of fracks. All right, so last up for the day, if you're somehow still around, Yahoo. <laughs> I told you the show was gonna be bad. Yep, Yahoo's in the news somehow. You remember how they're shutting down Yahoo groups? Um, yeah. I think we talked about that in October, who knows? Anyway, they're shutting down Yahoo groups and if you wanna like, get that data, you can, I guess. You have until January 31st, 2020. So if you want your data from Yahoo Groups before it all goes away, you can request it by then and download it. Holy shit. You know what? Actually, I don't care. <laughs> I do not care about this. I'm done. See you tomorrow. Bye. Brian, can you end the show? They can't see me, right? So just end it. Just cut the... It's like, go end it, end the video, the whole video, just end it. Just, just end the show, what the? F stop, okay, you can stop watching now. You can go away, thank you for, see you tomorrow, thanks for coming today. Very nice to you, okay, see you tomorrow, kids, go away. Go away, go away. <sighs> okay, whatever. Well, we should just like make the video 10 minutes and fit a bunch of ads in there. We should just, we should, I could just sit down here with nothing and make them watch for the 10 minutes and we'll just stick a bunch of ads in. I think we could do that. Or we could just end the video 